Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is let go and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Genesis chapter 39 and verse 2. The Lord was with Joseph and he, even though a slave, became a successful and prosperous man and he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. I've been reading the story of Joseph and as I usually do when I read of such characters in the Bible, I try to draw lessons from their stories for my own life and walk with God. In the next few days, I will choose two or three of some of these lessons that I have written down and share them with you. Most of what I will share would be reminders of things that you already know. The first thing I feel led to share is the need to let go of the past and to let go of bitterness. As I read the story of Joseph, I could not help but notice that maybe by the help of the Spirit of God, the Bible doesn't say how he managed to, but Joseph was able to put aside the hurt and betrayal from the past and focus on where he found himself at the time. Joseph had experienced the highest form of betrayal and hurt from his brothers. They had sold a young, previously sheltered teenage boy to slave traders. In one day, they uprooted him from a secure family where he was loved and pampered and plunged him instantly into servitude, hardship, a strange land where anything could have befallen him. His brothers hurt him badly. If Joseph had been bitter, it would have been understandable. But the Bible paints a strange but very interesting picture. Rather than brood, Joseph threw himself into the work that he found in front of him. He served Potiphar with all his heart, so much so that Potiphar promoted him. He became a prosperous slave. An apparent contradiction. How do you prosper as a slave? But that was what the presence of God in Joseph's life cost. Let me pause here to just declare over you and I that the presence of God in our own lives will make our lives a wonder. Our lives will will become like a good contradiction in the name of Jesus. Okay, so back to Joseph. Joseph was only able to attain to what he did because he put aside the hurt and the bitterness that could have clogged his heart and he focused on the present. If Joseph, Joseph had harbored that bitterness or let the hurt fester, he would never have been able to give his best in the work that he was doing. Let me tell you what bitterness does. Bitterness keeps you trapped in a space that is in between the present and the past. You are neither here nor there. You will be unable to make progress in your race or your walk. Bitterness steals focus. And once you are not focused, you can never attain too much. The enemy may have been involved in sending Joseph to Egypt. But Joseph sustained a wisdom to understand that God could use Egypt to further his plans. My dear listener, you may need to take out time today to do an x-ray of your heart. Is there any bitterness? Let it go by the help of the Spirit so you can make progress and watch God make your life a sign and a wonder even in that place where you are. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Please take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.